Hi, everybody. As my wife, Lisa, is fond of saying, uh, I miss your faces. In these very unusual times, um, we need to remember a few things. We need to remember that God is in control, number one. And we also need to remember that we are the church, that we are called to be community, to be in community, and we are called to um, be the hands and the feet of Jesus during this time. I'm intentionally uh, filming this video outside today um, as a reminder that the church has left the building, right? Um, and as we live into this new calling, into this new reality, we need to figure out what God is calling us to do and how God is calling us to be the hands, the feet, and the voice of Jesus to others. You see, here's the deal. One of the most emotionally and spiritually healthy things that we can do is, during this time especially, but in, during any time of life, is to remember other people, to not focus our ten attention exclusively on ourselves and how we're feeling, but be, to be thinking about how others may be feeling. You see, there is somebody in your sphere of influence that needs to know that Jesus is still in control, that Jesus loves them, that you still love them. And we have the opportunity to, um, to share that with people during these times of social distancing. Now, how do you do that during times of social distancing? Well, it might be something as simple as making a phone call. Is there somebody in your life group? Is there somebody from work? Is there somebody in your neighborhood that simply needs to know that somebody's thinking about them? That needs to know that, that nothing is out of God's control? It might be that God wants to use you specifically to share that message, to share the love of Jesus uh, with those people. So be thinking about, be praying about that, um, and you'll be surprised what um, and who God might lead you to. The church has indeed left the building. So go be the church. Before I let yeah. you go, got a couple of things that I want to remind you about. The first one is that um, each Sunday, for the time being anyway, we're going to be sharing virtual worship together at 930. Uh, you can participate in that virtual worship either through Facebook or you can go directly to our church website or to um, our YouTube channel, Pray Bible Church YouTube channel. Uh, and as I'm sure you're already aware, uh, the financial needs of the church remain whether we are gathering together on a Sunday morning or not. That being the case, we are developing a variety of ways to for folks to give online. So keep your eyes open for that. You might be getting a, a letter in the mail with regards to that. And during our virtual worship, there's gonna be some information that is provided for that as well. And if you're more comfortable just sending a, church, uh, a check to um, Prairie Bible, you can send that to Randy Rumry. Uh, and if you don't know uh, Randy's address, send an email to me and I'll get it to you, okay? Love you guys. Keep your eyes fixed on Jesus. And remember that um, we have an opportunity in the midst of all this. That God is in control. He has a plan. And when we're through it all, we're going to look back and say, Isn't our God good? I'll be praying for you.